Hi! Okay, so today I wanted to do a what I got my kid for Christmas video. Um, I feel like most people got this sort of video up within like the first week of December, but I am pretty much the queen of procrastination, so I wasn't done shopping until this past weekend, and um, so I couldn't do this video any sooner than now because <laughs> I wasn't done. Um, but yeah, a little bit about my kid. I have a three-year-old daughter. Her name is Riley Skye. She just turned three last month in November. Um, she's really into mermaids, um, unicorns, dinosaurs, LOL surprise, and she's about to become a big sister, so mommy's not going to be as accessible as I am currently. So... I needed, I wanted to get her less like toy items because I feel like our house is exploding with toys and also she has presents coming from her papa on uh, my dad and then also from her papa and her grandma, um, Jake's parents. So she has a, she, I'm sure she's going to get her fair share of toys. So I wanted to get less toy type stuff and more activities and um like useful things if that makes sense so this isn't going to be like a lot of like toys per se um but let me just get started so that this video isn't two hours long i also wanted to mention that um not all of this is from me my mom sent down money um for gifts from her i'm not sure how i'm going to divvy it up but yeah not all of this is from me this is from this is collectively from me and my mom I just don't know, um, like I said, I, I didn't literally keep track of amounts, like uh, money-wise, I just kind of bought what I thought she would like, and then I just, did, I didn't want to buy too much, so, yeah. Anyway, alright, so the first thing I got, I'm just gonna, it's not in any particular order, I'm just going by what I can grab, um, is this mermaid blanket, this mermaid tail blanket, I got this at Target. It's just a really cute um, ombre mermaid tail blanket, so um, there's the picture. Super cute. I thought she would love it. <laughs> I'm sure she'll really enjoy this. It's really soft, and it kind of goes with the colors of her room, so that was a plus. Um, the next thing I have over here is, like I said, she's really into LOL Surprise, and I didn't get her any like actual LOL Surprises because she has a couple and I think she got some from my my dad and then also they're just kind of like I said I, I was trying not to get her like toy toys so any but anything that's LOL surprise she's really into this one's a LOL surprise hooded towel wrap um so like a bathrobe basically it's got like a little it's got a big bow for over the head and it's got a couple different LOL characters on it. I thought she'd like it. I don't know. <laughs> I saw it at Walmart. Um, like I said, she's really into dinosaurs. So I got her a couple different dinosaur things. The first dinosaur thing I got her was this Play-Doh kit. Um, it's got dino tools. I don't really, I actually don't really know what it is. Um, it's got like a little roller that has like dinosaur prints on it. I don't know. <laughs> it's Play-Doh. She likes Play-Doh and she likes dinosaurs, so I figured, why not? Um, the next dinosaur thing I got her, since it's right here, is actually really cool. I'm really excited about this one. This is called Dig It Up Dinosaur Eggs. Um, it's basically, it's 12 different eggs you get, and you get like this little chipper tool, and you chip at the eggs, and then in each egg it has a different dinosaur, and then it also comes with a excavation guide that has all the different dinosaurs that it comes with and like a little blurb about each dinosaur so she can take this and she can so not only does she get the activity of actually like hatching the eggs but then she also gets to keep the little figurines and she also gets to match them up to the guide and learn more about each dinosaur and yeah, I just I thought it was really cool activities. So yeah, she could probably do like a dinosaur egg, like probably one a day until she gets bored of it. And then she can keep obviously the figurines and it comes with little figurines that she can keep as toys. So I don't know. I thought that was really cool. I thought she would have fun with that. Um, the other dinosaur, last dinosaur thing I got was um, just a book called How Do Dinosaurs Say Goodnight? 
she's been really into uh, story books. She's kind of getting out of um, like the simple rhymey books and more into books with a storyline in them. But at the same time, she still enjoys those kind of books. So I thought this will probably be like one of the last kind of rhymey books she reads. And I think she'll, I think it'll still just hold her interest just because it is dinosaur related. Um, I did get her another book. I got her this Peppa Pig When I Grow Up book. Um, I didn't really read it. I just kind of saw it at the store. Um, it looks like it's more of like a storyline. Yeah, it's more of a storyline type book. So this will hold her interest for a longer period of time. Plus, she's just really into Peppa Pig. Um, I guess since we're on the topic of books, I have these other books in front of me. I got her these two educational kind of activity books. She's not in daycare or anything, so she doesn't get the typical like introduction to like ABCs and counting and everything. And although we try to incorporate it a lot and everything, I just thought these would be a good way to like entertain her and their like writing skills. And I don't know, I just thought she would be interested in this. It's um, Get Ready for Pre-K Wipe clean workbook so it's got tracing it's got matching it's got um like opposites in it it's got the abc it's got counting shapes um just like a lot of different activity colors um just like a lot of different activities that i feel like will keep her entertained and we'll kind of educate her at the same time. I also got her a smaller version, a hard, this one's like hardback though. So she can take this in the car with her when we go places or we go to the doctor's office and she wants to have something to entertain her. Um, yeah, I don't know. The next three things I got her are all kind of related. Um, I got her just a mermaid water bottle. It's really cute, really simple. Um, she just, she likes having special cups, so I thought it would be really cute. It's got a little twist lid, and it pops up with the straw, and you twist it closed, and it seals the straw so that you don't have to worry about leaking. Um, and then I also got her little silverware, so a spoon and a fork set, <laughs> frozen. And then, even though they're not matching, it's all kind of related, you know? Um, and then I also got her just this really cute Peppa Pig plate. She really, she's really particular about which plate she wants to eat up off of every night. And she doesn't have a Peppa Pig one. So I thought she would like a Peppa Pig one, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I just saw it and I thought that it was cute. Uh, the next thing I got, this is kind of a toy, I guess. It's um, a bubble wand, princess, Disney princess bubble wand. It has, um, it lights up and then it also plays part of your world and blows bubbles obviously i thought this would be cute i think she really enjoys it she likes bubbles um the next thing is shoes i got her two pairs of shoes these are these pink suede shoes they're really soft i thought she'd like the texture of these i think i showed these in my old navy um cyber monday haul and then also the kitty cats i love these ones these are so cute i don't know why those are so freaking adorable and then the last two things I got her are um, more, like I said, activities again. So this one I'm really excited about. It's called Move and Groove, your child's first dance game. It comes with this plush cube and then cards. And basically what you do is you separate the cards into, um, I think, four or um, six. Six different car uh, categories and you roll the dice and then whatever it lands on so if it's on sparkly blue you'd pick a sparkly blue card and then it would it'll tell you what to do um so it's got things like fly like a plane tap your feet play the air guitar run in place do the disco um march in a circle do the funky chicken uh, spin skip around the room dance like a robot etc so just different things to get Kid, the kid like up and moving and just active. Uh, I thought this would be a really good idea because because it's gonna be January, so it's gonna be cold. We're not gonna be getting outside as often. Plus, I'm gonna have a newborn attached to my boob like 24/7. Uh, 
and I just wanted to find ways to get her still to be active and moving um, without being, able, you know, when we're not able to go outside. Plus, I think she'll be able to convince her dad to do this, and I think it'll be really funny to watch with her and her daddy doing this together. I don't know. I just, I can see them having fun with that. And then the last thing, oh no, not last thing, second to last thing I got her is this Imagination Magnets. Um, I guess this is technically a toy, but not like really. It's kind of more educational. I remember having something like this when I was a kid, and I really enjoyed it, and it kept me entertained for like hours. Um, or what seemed like hours, I guess. Um, it's just, it comes with little shapes and then cards and you match them up and you make what's on the cards and you can make different shapes with the blocks. And it's just kind of, it's fun and entertaining and it's, I guess it's educational in a way. Um, it says, learn through play, visual, thinking skills, fine motor skills, and creativity. And then the last thing I bought her is something I buy her every single year. Um, I didn't get her for her first Christmas because she was only like a month old. But ever since then, I've gotten her these every single year. And it's from Lush. Um, I got her a bath bomb. This one's a little rocket bath bomb. <laughs> and then also um, a bubble wand. I've gotten her specifically this one every year too. So it's just like a reusable bath wand. You just run it under the bath and it, uh, it has a bunch of bubbles and it smells good. And she loves it. It just makes bath time extra special. But yeah, that's it. I don't know if I, like I said, this is so late. I don't think I'll be able to, I don't think it'll be useful for anybody if you're looking for like ideas. Um, although most of the stuff is from Target either Target or Walmart, so I guess you could go out and run and get some of it, um, but maybe it'll give you ideas for maybe next year, or just uh, things in general that you want to get your kid for their birthday or whatever. I don't know. But yeah, anyway, um, I think that's it. Hopefully this was at least somewhat entertaining and you got some ideas for some sort of gift or whatever. I don't really know. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching.